Labeling emotions. There was once a study at the US University of California in Los Angeles, which involved showing spiders to people with spider phobias. In this study, the researchers found that the people who had been asked to label their emotions as they experienced the spiders had a smaller physiological reaction to the spiders as measured by their skin conductance. Also, participants who verbalised a larger number of fear and anxiety words had even fewer skin conductance responses. So what these two pieces of research seem to be showing is that by naming our distressing emotions, it can basically dampen down that emotion through a brain response. It's thought that this dampening down of the emotional brain helps other areas of the brain, which have different skills, to solve the problem at hand. When you put feelings into words, you seem to be hitting the brakes on your emotional responses. As a result, a person may feel less angry or less sad. That's useful to know about. So just naming the emotion can reduce or dampen down that emotion. And it can enable you to solve the problems at hand in a more effective way. That's quite hard for a lot of people. Um, there's evidence that quite a high proportion of people do find it hard to identify and name the emotions that, that they're experiencing. You can take the idea of labelling a step further and apply some of the ideas associated with the practice of mindfulness. In the idea of mindfulness noticing and labelling, the, the aim is apparently to stand back to observe our mental activity by using our attention to track our thoughts moment by moment. You can take things a step further by noting the intensity of the feelings and the location in your body of the sensations. So labelling can be done formally as part of a meditation exercise or informally throughout the day. The aim is to be aware, take a step back there's 37 videos in total looking at different elements of thoughts, feelings, behaviours and physical responses to distress and discomfort. We hope you find some help from them.